स्टैंडर्ड नाइन सब्जेक्ट जोग्राफी लेसन नंबर सिक्स द प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ सी वाटर सो स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस लेसन वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ सी वाटर फॉर एग्जाम्पल जनरल कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ सी वाटर टेम्परेचर ऑफ सी वाटर सैलिनिटी ऑफ सी वाटर एंड डेंसिटी ऑफ सी वाटर now if we are discussing about the general characteristics of sea water then we can say pacific ocean is the largest water body on the earth minerals from the rocks and soil dissolves in water and get deposited in sea through the rivers this process is on for millions of the years evaporation took away only water but salt content remained in the ocean this made seas and oceans salty land and water body vary in temperature surface of land gets heated fast and cool down rapidly water gets heated slowly and cools down slowly temperature variation in heating up and cooling down of land is steep than the of water that is why the near equator average temperature of land is observed above 45 degree celsius while average temperature of ocean is about 25 degree celsius near the poles of average temperature of land is minus 25 degree celsius while it is minus 2 degree celsius in case of water now students let us observe this diagram in this diagram we can see that at the sea level when the depth is zero that means at the level of the sea it is having the higher temperature around 15 plus degree celsius but as the depth increases say if it goes to 500 meter then we see the changes in the temperature now further we can observe if the depth goes beyond 1000 meter again the temperature decreases by this diagram we can prove that the main property of sea water is temperature due to temperature the salinity is affected the density of the water sea water is affected so we are going to discuss about the temperature of sea water now let us understand the temperature of sea water temperature of sea water at surface at the depth is studied separately surface temperature of sea water it is not uniform everywhere it changes with latitude it decreases from equatorial areas to the pole it is about 25 degree celsius near equator about 16 degree celsius in the mid latitude and 2 degree celsius near pole location of the sea ocean current cyclone rainfall sea waves salinity pollution conventional movement of sea water seasons etc the factors are influenced the surface of the sea water the temperature decreases with the increase of the depth however beyond a certain depth temperature does not change much temperature of sea water changes rapidly with the depth near equatorial areas but such changes are moderate in a mid latitude regions the difference in the temperature with the depth is lesser in the polar region most of the sun rays radiate back from the sun surface of the sea or some of the penetrates to certain depth in the water the intensity of sun rays decreases hence the certain depth the temperature of water remains same everywhere as we have already seen in this diagram that after the depth of 2000 meter the temperature of sea water remains uniform at 4 degree celsius from the equatorial regions to the polar areas water at the greater depth does not freeze the temperature of an open sea is always less than those of landlocked seas besides salt also used to preserve the food for longer period it is also used in ice factories in the equatorial regions between 
5 degree north and 5 degree south on one hand has cloudy sky for longer periods and receive the conventional rainfalls every day the larger rivers like amazon and congo also meet the sea in equatorial regions and supply of abundant fresh water on other hand the this regions has higher temperature and more rate of evaporation therefore sea is these areas has the moderate to high salinity then the tropical region in the generally having high temperature and higher t- rate of evaporation therefore the sea is in tropical areas has moderate salinity the mid latitudinal zones between 25 degree and 35 degree both hemisphere has higher salinity the temperature of the sea is higher in land locked seas the dead sea has the salinity about 332% degree so we can say that salinity of arabian sea is more than bay of bengal okay students so that's all in this part of this lesson so in next part we are going to discuss about the salinity of sea water and the density of the sea water in our next video which would be released after only your exams so all the best for your exams thank you for watching this video